In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Smart Dimension tools to create a LEGO cube. In order to do this, we're going to start with a document I've just found online. It's a picture of a two stud LEGO cube. Now the dimensions aren't accurate dimensions for a real LEGO cube. However, for the purpose of your modelling today, this is a great example to start with. You can see that I've got it from hollywood.it and I recommend anybody that's trying to get to grips with using the, uh, the smart dimensioning tool to use this, uh, this drawing to help you do that. So, uh, I'm just going to start by looking at the dimensions, the outer dimensions of this cuboid. We've got a regular cuboid which is 40 by 20 uh, and the extrusion is going to be 24 high. So we're going to start on the top plane drawing a rectangle that's 40 by 20 and then we're going to extrude it 24. Just move this out of the way into SolidWorks, right click on my top plane, view sketch. I'm going to come up to the rectangle tool. I'm just going to do the drop down and change that to center rectangle. Then I'm going to come over the point of origin, click on my point of origin and drag out the shape. Next we're going to use the smart dimension tool. Click on that one side and drag it down. The dimension of that is 40. We're going to click on the other side, drag it out and the dimension of that is 20. We accept that. Next you're going to go to features and extrude boss base. And we're going to bring that up. You can see that it's already added a nominal value of 10 millimeters we're going to change that to 24. Uh, like I said the dimensions aren't accurate however it will give us an accurate looking model so I'm going to accept that and there we have our first cuboid the main part of this Lego cube. Now we're going to have a look at where we're going to put these studs on the top and looking at this diagram we can see that each stud is 12 diameter we can see that each one is extruded for. Uh, we can presume that they're central to the middle of that surface. And then we can also see here that it's four in from that edge. So what we're going to do is try and calculate the, the center of this circle from the side for uh, to keep it easy. Uh, we're going to have four. We're going to then have the radius of this. So if it's a 12, diameter the radius is 6 so we know that the center of that circle is 10 from this edge so from the center of this rectangle it's 10 in. Uh, I'm now going to go back to SolidWorks top surface right click on the top surface and then say sketch I've now got sketch 2 so I'm going to right click on there and normal 2 up to the line tool click and drag down to center line. I'm going to grab a center line, come halfway down the side of this cuboid. When it gives me the little toggle to say it's halfway, I'm going to click once and bring out one center line. I'm going to go about a third of the way across the top. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So center line, bring it down halfway, click once, bringing it out horizontal. I'm using that yellow horizontal guide and I'm just clicking. I am kind of estimating at the moment, but I've just brought it in about a third of the way across the, the top of the, the, the top face. Uh, at this point, I am going to go to Smart Dimension Tool, click on this line, bring it down and change that to 10. And I'm going to do the same to the other, click it, bring it down, 10. So I've now got two uh, two points on the top face of this cuboid that will show where the center of these rectangles will be. So just looking at here you can see that I've come in halfway and I've now come in 10 to give me the center of that circle. I'm going to go up to the circle tool, click on the circle tool and bring it down so it's going to connect with that point. Remember in SolidWorks when we hover over a point the end of the pencil shows that there's going to be a relationship between the two features which will keep them linked together. We're going to draw two circles. We're going to draw one on that dot and come to the other point and draw a second circle. 
back up to the top to smart dimension, click on the outer edge, drag it up diagonally, and we're going to set that to 12. Click on the second one, bring it up, set that to 12, so that they're the same size as the, the one in the image. Up to features. Now these are both on the same sketch, but because we're, they're not intersecting each other, we'll be able to get them to extrude together. So I simply say extrude boss base. If I drag this back in just to show you the height we're going is four. So move that back out the way. And here we go four. And accept that to make that look more realistic. So we've now got two studs on top of the block. Next thing we're going to do is hollow out the shape so that we can make the, the middle of it hollow uh, and we're going to add this pin in the center. Just move that back out of the way. Uh, looking at the bottom of that, that's the face that we're going to hollow out. The wall thickness here is four, so move that out of the way. Select the base, come up to shell, my features panel. I'm going to say four, return and tick and that will hollow that out so I've now got a four millimeter wall thickness uh, into my hollow shape and then the next and potentially final feature or the final feature of the drawing is the central pin we know that that central pin is an eight diameter and we know that it's going to be in the middle of that surface so I'm just going to click on that central point there, right click and sketch, so I'm now drawing on the very inside of that shape, back to sketch 3 and normal 2, circle, point of origin, draw a shape, smart dimension, and I'm going to bring that up to be 8, and now I need to bring that down so it reaches the bottom of the shape, uh, here I can see the, the external distance was 20, because we've applied a four millimeter wall thickness, a four millimeter shell to a 24 mil uh, cuboid. So with that circle drawn, I go features, extrude boss base. You can see it's coming down four at the moment. So I'm just gonna change that to 20 and accept that. And there we've got the Lego cube drawn to the dimensions within this diagram accurate dimension so if we were to 3d print it we would end up with a product that's exactly the same size the final finishing touch I'm just going to do is select the top surfaces of the studs to select more than one at once you hold down shift and select the second one up to the fillet and do the drop down on the fillet to change it to chamfer we're just going to put on a 0.5 chamfer and accept that uh, and that just makes it look a little bit more realistic. We're then going to add a colour. So I'm going to come over to what looks like the beach ball. Go into appearances. Let's go for plastic high gloss. Uh, let's go for a blue high gloss. Simply drag that on. Hold down Alt as we drop it on. And that will recolour our Lego cube to be and that, ladies and gents, is how you can use the Smart Dimension tool when sketching on SolidWorks to produce a dimensionally accurate 3D CAD model. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time.